Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Today, we are taking a look at another set of character challenges. Last time around we did electric slides and seeing how we did a zombie last time, I would like to do a plant this time around. So we're doing Colonel Corn. Of course, he is a very action-filled type of plant. I'm seeing, I'm excited to see how he goes with all these challenges. Sometimes it can be a bit of a tough class to play in this game, but he has, of course, five challenges. The first one is earning experience with Colonel Corn, which is weird because that's usually at the end. Uh, land direct hits with shuck shot 30 times will be a bit time consuming. Uh, land hits with the cob busters, which is his primary weapon. That'll just take some time. Dealing husk hop damage, 3,500 total. Actually, that might be one of the easier ones. And vanquish enemies affected by butter beacon. Okay, so the th first thing I'm noticing is a lot of these challenges seem like they're going to take a lot of time. So we're gonna get started with them right now and see how things go. We'll go ahead and change into Colonel Corn right now. And before I forget, we should customize them a little bit. I don't know what I exactly wanna do with them, but we'll just sort of take a look at what we have, what we can mix around with. Definitely if we have any Spectrum hats, like this pumpkin, I wanna use that. Um, on top of that, maybe we could do this. And this. <laughs> it's a very ugly combo and that's why I love it. Let's go ahead and play on some turf takeover and try to get these challenges done. Okay, we're joining very late into this round, but that's A-OK -okay with me. I was waiting around uh, playing his all-star to see if a team slot would pop up on the planned team and it did, luckily enough. So our main goal right now is to deal some husk hop damage. 3,500 of it in total, but if we can do everything else in the meantime, that'd be good too. Um, that didn't do anything. Here we go. No, he's already getting attacked. That was a waste. That's fine. Throw out some Butter Barrage, do some damage with that. Because if we can get a Vanquish with that, that is also another step in the right direction. And no matter what we do, if we're earning experience, that will help as well. So like, there's a whole lot to do here. Why is that not working? I don't know, it's not though. Uh, okay, got you a little bit, but not enough. Okay, get that there. Seems like there's been a lot more Colonel Corn players around, and I'm pretty sure that's just because of the character challenge. Lots of people trying to get these challenges done so they can earn their stuff. Let's toss that way over there. He's of course trying to get a little bit closer to me. I'm going to make that difficult for him. And we landed some damage, only 44 damage, but that's damage still. Oh, hi, uh, engineer. I was, you know, busy with the conversation with somebody else, but okay, whatever. <laughs> Looks like that all started to get taken out, but they're delivering the bombs right now, or at least they're trying to. So honestly, there's not too much uh, advice I could give for the Colonel Corn challenges except for just practice on being accurate. And when it comes to being accurate, you might just wanna get a feel for it, of course, play him a good chunk of time. But on top of that, try mixing with the uh, settings of the game. Of course, you can change how much aim assist there is. Some people do better with less aim assist. Some people do better with more aim assist. Definitely tweak it a little bit. You can do that in the, in the uh, game settings and see what's best for you. And also, get into the habit of throwing your uh, Butter Beacon out almost every time, because not only does it give it extra sight on the enemies, I do believe it makes it so you can do a little bit of extra damage. Anyways, let's try to revive somebody, or not. I couldn't catch a tar. <laughs> I'm not close to them right now. It's a very open area, so I feel like it's much harder for Colonel Corn to utilize his abilities, especially the Husk Cop. But we'll just keep, keep trying to get out there. As they get closer to where the bomb is supposed to be deposited, that's when my opportunity may arise to do a lot of husk hop damage. But this is, uh, yet again, one of those ones that's really, really recommendable to do on story mode. The only ones that aren't are when you're doing things like reviving, right? Like reviving, you cannot revive people in story mode. So that's not very helpful to do there, or something like that. Or get like assist vanquishes. Like that's not gonna happen too much in story mode either. My gosh, they're too good. <laughs> I just, I can't even get out there. That's why I'm saying this area is a little too open for Colonel Corn. You know what? Maybe we really should try some of the smaller game modes. Like maybe that would just help out a little bit. I'll consider that. For right now, gotta keep defending the Mal Malo Mortar as much as we can. So, uh, not too many zombies trying to get him through that way. But even just being Accurate with this is one of the challenges. We have to do it a lot. I think we need to land 3,500 hits with it, but it does stack up quite a lot over time, so. So two bomb zombies are moving down this way. Oh, hi. Um, Husk Cop, please. Did that do anything? It did a little bit. Landed almost an additional 100 damage. Oh my gosh. They're too good right now. I'm not really doing much worthwhile. I've only gotten three vanquishes. So yeah, this round really isn't too much. Maybe we'll just try some of the smaller game modes. We'll try some mixed mode after this. 
That might be better. Definitely might be better, so. They're halfway down to doing this, but honestly, our plant team is starting to pick up the pace a little bit. We could end up defending here. Okay, come on. Oh, I see that parrot. I gotta get rid of the parrot. Thank you. I wonder if this counts as a direct hit. I don't think it does. I mean, it's a direct hit on the shield. You would think, but I don't know. Oh, darn. They're too good right now, I can't really do much. But luckily, none of the people that are getting out and getting vanquishes have the bomb or are protecting the zombies with the bomb, which makes it a lot more easy for us to defend. But I'm trying to just get out there for right now. I do see this all-star. Do away with him, please. Oh no, they're delivering stuff. No! Okay, ready for this? Boom. Okay, that didn't do anything. <laughs> Never mind. Come on, get this guy, get this guy. Awesome, opponent vanquished. I wanna run over this way real quick, spawn in some friends to help me out. And I do see, stop with the, hitting me with Captain Dead, but you're kidding me! All I wanna do is husk hop over an engineer! Why do you gotta get me? Every time I just poke my little Colonel Corn nose, that Colonel Corn doesn't have a nose. That's, that's, that shows you how barely I have to pop out for you to just snipe me down. Oh my gosh. Definitely some close quartered fighting is what I need right now. I'm gonna throw that butter beacon over that way. Looks like he did the same thing. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Okay, you're a big scaredy pants. <laughs> Trying to take us on with a shield. We got you though. And I can grow a plant if the game will let me. There we go. Who do we have over this way? There's definitely an engineer that maybe we'll sneak around this side to, to take out. There's two zombies with a bomb heading in though, and that's a huge problem because they only need, oh no you don't. Oh no you don't, mister. You're in trouble. I hope you know. Okay, yeah, not happening. Banco streak times two. We're able to stop the zombies with a bomb. When I say we, I mean my team. I didn't really help too much with that. Ow, okay, where's the imp at? The imp is over there. Throw down the butter beacon. That unveiled him. But my aim does not improve magically because of that. That's for sure. Okay, damage this guy down a bit. Come on, almost got him too. Okay, ready for this? Husk hop over. Do as much husk hop damage as I can afford to do. It wasn't much, but it was something. And I landed both of those, thank you. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do. We'll check to see how much progress we've made with this one before it's all said and done, I hope. Uh, boom, yeah, let's see real quickly. How much progress have we made? Actually, not too bad with the direct hits with the shuck shot. Almost halfway there already, and that's it. Okay, I guess it's over the last two bombs. I wouldn't have been able to get out there soon enough to stop him. Or maybe the timer right now. I wasn't paying attention to the timer, so yeah, I guess we won! It's a miracle! All right, good job, team. We are now going to go over to mixed mode and see how we do over there. All right, so it seems like we are on some vanquish confirmed. We'll see if this goes any better, or if maybe it being a more open area won't change anything at all. We'll just have to wait and see. Right now, toss the butter barrage down there. See if I can't unveil him. I did, very nice. And then get up this way real quick, real quick. Remember, we're trying to land these shuck shots. And that did a little bit more progress. Come on, get him, please. How did that not do anything? There we go. Had to use a lot of our abilities to do that, but at least we got it done. And we're pretty early in the game. It's only seven to nine. Oh, there's, a bul there's an orb down here. I was gonna say a bulb. Not quite, but maybe if I collect enough of these, I might be able to get a uh, a bulb. That would be good. Okay, this guy down here, make sure to get him. I'll grab that, and then throw this down. Husk hop over you before you notice me. Thank you, thank you. All right, now things are starting to go well. Oh, it's just super brains again. I didn't land any of those directly, I don't think. Oh, but we still got the vanquish, that was nice. Okay. Yeah, we're doing really well in this round so far. This might just be the way to go. Okay, they have a whole collection of guys over here though. Uh, whoop. Did that really do much? Where did he go? Okay, I'm very confused. Oh, hi everybody. Now they all just jumped down on me. Yikes. But how is our, I feel like right now the husk hop damage one is, is ending up being more challenging. I thought that was gonna be the easiest one, but we're, we've barely made a dent in it. We're not even one tenth of the way there. That's definitely something that would be more doable. Maybe against some bosses in story mode or in solo ops or something. But we'll definitely keep at it throughout today's episode and see what we can get done. I don't see too much happening over here, except for you guys, of course. Boom, butter barrage. Then I need to, ouch, get hurt. 
come on, really? That was baloney. Ugh, I guess there were some zombies behind me or something. We do have the larger team though, so you know what? Maybe it's just my own fault. I was I was putting myself in a bad position. Well, let's just see more progress with the Colonel Corn. I'm now halfway for this. You know what? I think that's gonna be my new focus. Because land hits with the Cobb Busters, like I've been doing a decent progress with that. It just takes so long because of how many hits that is. Uh, okay, so that's sort of, those two are our go-tos. The other ones are gonna take a large amount of time. Very large. Apparently I've only vanquished two people while they've been under the Butter Beacon effect. To me, I don't know, that, that seems a little hard to believe, but maybe. And that's why it's good to habitually throw out the Butter Beacon every chance I get. So right now we're not even winning. We need to turn this around. I thought that we were winning, even though we're clearly not. Okay, you know what? I'm not letting that happen. If I have anything I can say about it, that was actually great. That's not hitting anybody, obviously, but. Okay, I need some heals here. I don't think we have any sunflowers on our team. Whoop. Oh, hello. You don't quite see me. I'm trying to make the most of that. Butter beacon down that way. Got him. Okay, that's another Butter Beacon Vanquish. Oh, I see you. Wait, no, I thought I saw you. Then he ran off. Okay. Ready for this? I hope you are not, so that I have a higher chance of hitting you. There we go, there we go. Did that land? I don't think so, at least not until the Vanquish had already happened. It wasn't even my Vanquish, so whatever. Okay, whoa, lots of action happening. Get rid of this guy now, at least a little bit. Whoa, there are zombies everywhere right now. I don't even know where to begin. Where do I begin? Over here, I guess. Husk Cop didn't work again. I'm so bad with Husk Cop. <laughs> Come on. The problem is the camera sort of goes all wild. It gets really hard to see who's below you when you're using Husk Cop. I feel like that wasn't as much of an issue in Garden Warfare 2, actually. Okay, can we please get somebody with that? I think we got somebody, yeah, we're 16 out of 30. One step closer. Don't you hit me with that. I would love to go for a revive on this guy, but I don't think it's gonna work out. So instead, butter you up, and then you're gonna try to do that. Oh my gosh, that was that was actually really smart of you. Because you knew I was gonna try to meet you halfway. You're kidding me, oh my gosh, he was so close to getting vanquished and his scientist friend saves him. They're actually getting this right now, but Snapdragon came in to save the day, so let's try to get in there to save him. It's 25, 26 to 27, so it's not like they have a lead on us. We could turn this around for sure. We just gotta keep at it. Where are those zombies at? Okay, a couple of zombies over this way. I did what I could, but that angling is not good. Okay, ready? Boom and boom. Throw the butter over. Start beating up some some zombies, just like that. Yep. How'd that go? <laughs> I landed a tiny bit of husk cop damage. Probably shouldn't have done that, but I did it. Man, oh man. Okay, back into the action. Ready, set, go. 31 to 31, we're all tied up as a team here. Oh wow, I guess I landed a couple of hits with the shuck shot there. It's 21 out of 30 now. So as long as this battle on the bridge continues. Oh, oh, ho, 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 thank you for that. But can I get the, the orb in time before somebody else might try to come in and take it? Thank you very much. Hop over like this. I sort of went a little too high up that time. Not what I had preferred but at least I got some extra challenge stuff done, for sure. Okay, well, we need to participate more as a team here, or at least as a teammate, because I feel like I'm not really doing that. I'm getting one vanquished and then getting vanquished. That's not gonna help our team win, especially when they're one vanquished ahead of us. I'll just keep us where we are. Let's beat this up. Just like that, we destroyed the double time. I do not see any zombies right now, but I do see this, which I can quickly destroy. Just like that, and that's 2728. We got a prize bulbal meter filled. Oh no, I'm in trouble. Man, it is so hard to land that on people. Come on, come on, got him. Somehow I got him there. Run! <laughs> I could not run. Oh man, what is happening with that stun just spinning around like crazy? Okay. Well, 35 to 36, they still are a little bit ahead of us. I might have to change up the kernel corn upgrades. Maybe we'll do that between rounds or something. I wish you could do that when you're in the score tally. That'd be nice. But you can't quite. Anyways, let's go over here. Okay, that was an acorn getting that. Good job, good job. 
a fellow, oh boy, a fellow Colonel Corn over there. Nice, come on, get him, and got him. No, did that get him? 30 out of 30, yes it did. Excellent, so that should be another character challenge completed whenever that loads, because I was giving my level up coins. Wow, 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 somebody friendly, please pick up my orb. Okay, yeah, somebody did. Thank you, Acorn. That soldier's almost vanquished, but not quite. Okay, so let's respawn now. We'll take a look at our character challenges really quick and see what else we can do. Uh, the next thing is the husk cop damage, but I'll, I'll keep this tracked. I'll keep it tracked to see if we can improve. I feel like we've jumped a large amount even in this round, because now we're more than one tenth of the way there. One tenth would have been 350. So let's see if we can't get to two tenths, which would be 700. Okay, throw the butter over that way. You are getting burnt by the cheese. Okay, hold off, hold off. I'm in a very dangerous position, so I think it might just be more wise to turn around and run. 10 orbs left. Okay, yeah, why, 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 why? I just, I, I need to understand how Husk Cop works, and I haven't quite figured that out yet. That really hurts. Come on, no! I know it's a soldier anyways. Whatever, don't know where my team is. I'm struggling to find them. I'm not really being spawned near them, it seems. Okay, there's a couple of teammates over this way. I actually spawned right on top of a teammate. So that seems better. You never know, though. I see this guy, but I can't quite get him because I didn't really see him. Can I get up here? There we go. Just trying to find out where those enemies are. Okay, there's a couple over this way. Go ahead and do a bit of that. Oh my gosh, you actually turned around and went for me. I thought you were focused on the acorn. Was not expecting that. Yikes. Oh great, somehow I'm up to 12 vanquishes though. Like overall, we're not doing bad, and we do have the lead right now. It's 45 to 44, getting really close. I think it's good to just focus all in on getting the win. But obviously, easier said than done. Okay, no you don't. Leave my teammates alone. Yeah, you better run. You better run. Oh, I need that orb. I know it's sort of silly to use the entire husk cop to get it, but come on, we're one point closer to winning. Was that the winning point? It might have been. So that's why it's worth it. If a zombie ran in and, and took that, could have ended up with our loss. Cause we've been like a one point lead or one point behind the entire time. And our team won. Look at that, 50 to 45. So a pretty strong finish to what was otherwise a really close game. So before we get too into the action in today's, uh, or the, this round, I know it's, it's obviously today, um, we are going to just take a double, d double check of this. We have a uh, rapid recall, cow busters gain faster re reload, earn experience faster and super spin. Okay, that's not too bad, but I feel like it could be better. Cowbusters pierce through enemies could be very potential. Um, is there anything for Husk Cop that we actually have? I don't think so. So you know what, maybe that's fine. Uh, but if there is Vampiric, do we have Vampiric for him? We do, ooh, that's tempting. You know, instead of Super Spin, let's try Vampiric. I feel like that'll help. Anyways, let's get into it. It is a Gnome Bomb or Suburbanation, one of the two. I think Gnome Bomb. Looks like it, so we'll get over this way. Dodge the mine carts if we can. Vanquish this guy real quick. Pick up that bomb, thank you. And where do we wanna go? Uh, I was gonna say this way, but there is a super brains and an engineer and everybody else in the way. So we're, we're moving this way. That way we're able to fire at them as we move back. That's excellent, that, that is absolutely excellent. And now if I can get a vanquish on them while I'm running around, I should get some health back for it. Come on, almost there. Almost there, and boom. Where are those zombies at? We got one moving down this way. It's electric slide again. Okay, she thinks that she's gonna get me here. She is sorely mistaken. Oh, I tried to get her. <laughs> I don't know if that actually counted or not. I don't think it did. Okay, where are the zombies at? I don't know. Uh, Three seconds left, so we got the first gnome bomb here. That's excellent. Bomb detonated. Oh, there's, a, there's at least one zombie over this way. There's the electric slide again. Oh, watch that, watch that. Okay, husk cop, husk cop. I at least did a tiny bit of damage. I think we got the experience challenge done right there. Ow, ow, <laughs> come on. Not good. Well, that's, that's not the best, but that's okay. We'll keep working on it. See, land hits with the Cobb Busters, we're at 489. So we're not making as much progress with this as I'd like to. 
Even though I feel like we're landing a lot of hits, it's one of those things where it just, it takes a lot of time, no matter what. Because it's going up, as you can see. Every time I do a little bit more damage, a little bit more damage. A lot of these guys just don't even notice me. Okay, get rid of you. And that counts as well. Anything we can do damage to seems to count. Where are the zombies at, though? Here we go. No, wait, <laughs> why didn't that get you? Such a hard time with the husk hop, for sure. Okay, so the gnome bomb's over here. I don't know what I'm doing so distracted then. Come on, oh wait, throw this down and then vanquish you. That way I can actually get, oh no, oh no, oh no. Ah! I should have husk hopped. I don't know why I didn't, I just, I was panicking because I wanted to revive the rose. I don't know why I thought that would actually work out for me. But yeah, they're already going on to the last bomb here, so we're definitely winning this. At least it looks like, unless they have the turnaround of a century. Which it's certainly possible, I guess, but I don't know if it's gonna work out that way. Whoa, of course I get hit by the mine cart. You're kidding me. And I'm unrevivable. I don't know why that makes me unrevivable, but it does. So they actually were able to defuse at that time. I just feel like we weren't as grouped up as a team. So maybe we could try that again. The gnome bomb is right here, so I'm going in. Protect me, that's a good vanquish. Keep at it. Don't get hit by the minecart this time. Just keep running. Just keep going, running, got it. Okay, husk hop, I don't even know if I'm over anybody. I did some damage to the zombie bot, that's something. That is indeed something. Okay, no you don't, no you don't, mm-mm. Okay, they don't have much time left to actually defuse this thing, but I can't see a darn thing because Citron's afro is in the way. Okay, who else is there? Anybody? Oh, there's plenty of people. Okay, ready? Husk hop over the goat. Did that do any damage? It might have done a little bit. Of course, one of my best lined up husk hop yet. And <laughs> we're gonna zoom in on, on Citron there. But I just didn't do it because the round ended. So that one's proven to be the most difficult for me. But overall, some decent progress. Another challenge done, even if it was the experience one. So three more to go. So back at it again. My main goal at this point really should be then to throw down the butter barrage, the butter beacon, you know what I mean. Throw down the butter beacon and just primary weapon attack them. If I get some husk cop as well, that's great, but those are the two things to focus on, is just primary weapon and butter beacon. If we don't get the husk cop today, I'm fine with it. Oh, this is suburban nation. Okay, be very careful. Try to do that. I don't know why it never works out for me, but it doesn't. Anyways, I know you don't have your charge, so I can definitely get a vanquish on you right there. There's another Colonel Corner round too. Okay, let's run over this way then. Try to recapture this point. Maybe we can get an early suburbanation. That'd be great. Double Colonel Corn action. Stay together. Oh, and a nightcap. Now we're all joining. It's suburbanation time. It is four versus like five or six, which isn't fair. I know. I'm sorry. But it looks like they took point A, so they are at least trying to put up some kind of fight here. Uh, hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Try to be careful. Put that there. Did that get him at all? It did not. Okay, well, I'm gonna revive you real quick. Look around for any potential zombies that might wanna try to beat me up. But I got you. And now we're getting over here. Okay, the teams are getting bigger, though, so I think it's gonna end up becoming more of a fight here in a moment. Throw down the butter barrage right there. And then go for you. Ah! That didn't land on you at all, because, I don't know, the game is mean. Oh, darn. Maybe my butter beacon timing is not good enough to actually secure the vanquishes, because it seems like the effect ends before I'm able to land the vanquishes. So maybe I need to damage him a little bit, throw the butter beacon out, and then get the vanquish. If that's doable, I'm not really sure. Okay, try to beat these guys up, do a little bit of that. Husk hop over this way, regret every decision I've made. Come on, he's up there, <laughs> I can't get him. Too many zombies, too many. I do wanna check really quickly though, whenever we have the chance, is the Butter Beacon Vanquishes just on heroes or is that on anybody? Uh, Vanquish enemies affected by Butter Beacon. So that's actually going to be a total breeze in story mode. It should be at the least. Anyways, yeah, let's help out taking this point if I can. Nope, I was a second too late. Oh well. Oh, who's over here? I saw an all-star, I think. 
Gotta be careful. Oh, there's a soldier. Come on, keep getting him. At least a little bit. Who's attacking now? Okay, ready? Ah! I keep going too long distance with that is another problem. Come on, just a little bit more damage on him. Actually, landing on the shield does not count. We're still at 650, as you can see. So many Colonel Corns. <laughs> Weird. I mean, I'm not wrong. This is the Cobb Buster, right? Yeah, it's called the Cobb Busters. Okay. So, a primary weapon. I didn't, like, misunderstand something is what I was hoping for. Come on, get him. We need to vanquish this guy right now. Yes, I hope that counted. I can only hope at this point. Okay, land a couple of hits on this guy. Ow, 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 who's doing that? Stop doing that. Please, I just was, I was trying to husk hop just at the right angle so I could actually land it on somebody. Husk hopping is so difficult in this game. I mean, it wasn't easy in Garden Warfare 2, but I just feel like it was a bit more properly doable. But in this one, it just, it feels really, really difficult. They got this point again. So, I'm beating this guy up. One way or another, yeah, you get off the point and I'll get on it. Seems like a fine trade to me. Come on, get him. Eh, uh, sort of. Got it. Now, running over this way, what do we got going on? Uh, so far, not too much. There's actually nobody on this point. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Spoke too soon. Okay, who's behind me? It's an all-star, I can already hear it. Already hear it. Jeez. I do think that things are better than if we stayed in Turf Takeover though. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe in a different universe, I'm in Turf Takeover right now having the time of my life having 70 vanquishes. But I, I don't believe it. Okay, trying to predict where he, he will be has me failing sort of miserably, but I sort of made it work. Can I revive you while we get this point? Yes, I can. Awesome. Wait, yep, okay, there it goes. So we, ah, oh, where did you even come from? I don't know, I guess from back there. Okay, husk hop over him. That at least did some damage, right? I don't know, I have no clue anymore. But it looks like, yeah, we got Suburbanation right now, which is great because they actually took the lead for a bit, so if we can just keep this, vanquish any zombies that go by us. Like you, okay, that was very fortunate. Very, very fortunate. If by the end of today's episode, I could, ow, ooh, ooh, pain, pain. Where did he go? I don't know. That was weird. But by the end of this episode, if I could get halfway with the Cobb Busters challenge, that'd be great. I'd be happy with that. Halfway would be what? 1,750? Yeah, I think that'd be 3,500, or half of 3,500. Okay. So, that means that we should be able to handle that. I would hope. I mean, we're almost halfway there. Oh, actually, not really. Almost halfway there. But we're getting there, okay? We're getting there. Can you step out of your shield real quick? Or no? Ow! Of course! There's just a super brain just chilling out there just punches me in the face. Oh, Colonel Corn's got my back though. We look out for each other. There it is. Awesome. Okay, yeah, re revive this guy too. Throw throw the beacon. Actually, I can't because I don't have the beacon. Who's behind us? There's an imp. Come on, please let that do something. It actually did something! Hooray! Ow! Who is it now? Stop doing that. No, you're not you're not reviving anybody if I can't revive anybody. That's final. Oh, that's a kernel corn. Okay, never mind. So we have points A and C, so we do have a lead of 11 points right now, which is really nice. Oh, there was an all-star. Very worried about these guys. And a scientist. And a soldier, they're all coming out of the woodworks now. Suburbanating again, though. Where did he go? I guess somebody got him. Okay, our plant team is kicking some butt. Oh. Toss that down that way or not. No, it went down there. I just don't think I'm gonna be able to vanquish whoever got beaconed. Okay. Gotcha, that was nice. So we're at 752. Okay, husk cop time. No way did that hit me. No way. I don't believe that for a second. I was in the air. Baloney, total baloney. Okay, well we're back up. Thank you team. But we need to take one of those points. Are they going to uh, overtake us and score? I mean, that won't be good. So what? what is happening? Okay, okay, calm it down. 
And he's here punching me again. I swear that I saw him turn and go down the other way. And then all of a sudden he was over top. Maybe there's some lag happening. Or maybe I'm just not good at keeping up with the action. Are you gonna try to revive me? Oh, don't don't even bother. Just get out of there. See, let's help with Well actually it looks like our team has point A covered. Oh boy, don't you even dare. Leave that nightcap alone. She's precious. Okay, that did some stuff, but not nearly really all that much. Dang. I wanna check how we're doing with our, our, our challenges so far, but I might have to check some other time. Let's just keep going for right now. Because I don't wanna waste any moment. Because like we're in the lead, but at any moment if they take the points and keep them for a while, you know, we, we aren't in the lead anymore then. Oh no. Okay, what do you wanna do about this, huh buddy? Don't you dare. Okay. I know it's not part of my challenge just to use that move, but I really needed to do, just do it. Okay, get that imp. Got the imp. Now, I'm gonna go into here, try to grab this point a little bit. I know they're gonna try to contest me in a moment or two. Throw the butter beacon. Okay, somebody got him. That's nice. We have this point now. And now we have to vanquish you. Maybe. <laughs> it's sort of working out. Come on, I'm gonna get you. Uh, maybe I won't. Maybe I will. I have no clue. <laughs> Somehow we were getting healed there, I guess for our vampiric, of course. Seems like a pretty nice upgrade to me then. Oh no. Oh man, you were going for me the same way I was going for you, just your move works quicker. Darn. That really stinks. I didn't do much damage to him there either, even though I thought that was a direct hit. Anyways, we're still in the lead. We're racking up those points. We have to take point B now though. Got him, okay, very good, very good. Rushing over this way, tossing that in there. <laughs> that Colonel Crow was just spinning around. Sort of funny. Okay, soldier and an, a scientist over this way. Come on, you're kidding me, that missed? I can't see a thing. Ah, uh, I hear a ZPG, but I don't see it. So yeah, get, get back to this point. Apparently there's somebody on this point contesting it. That's time for butter then, because that'll actually make him visible even in the dark cloud of mysteriousness. Okay, let's get up here and revive you. What? Oh, I think he canceled it. Let's definitely pump as much damage as we can into the mech. That'll get another challenge done for us, or at least get the challenge more done, is what I mean. Definitely not completing it. We're far ways away from completing it. I think we're like a quarter of the way there, maybe, around there. I think 900 points is almost, it's a little more than half of 1750, so like, yeah, about a quarter. All right, well, we'll go for one more round today, I think, but then we'll wrap it up with that. But so far, you know, okay progress with the challenges. Okay, one last round. Let's see how things go. Oh, oh no, oh no, hi. <laughs> okay, yeah, we got him! All right, it's gonna be Vanquish confirmed as well. Glad to have gotten the first Vanquish of the, of the round. Okay, I just gotta run for right now. Gotta run, because I don't know where they are. It looks like they're chasing me down now. No, don't hit me with that ZPG. Oh, oh gosh. Try to run, try to run. <laughs> Could not get away. I just needed a second to breathe. But somebody get my orb. Thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, be careful of that space cadet. Oh, 80s action hero got your orb. That always sinks. But it's three to zero. So we are leading. Glad to have you know began that lead for our team. But for right now, my focus is just to get as many primary weapon points of damage as I can. Okay, that sort of worked. Was it the vanquish? No, it was just an assist, darn. Oh, hello. Can I husk up over you? No, there's a ceiling in the way. How did I not notice that or realize that was gonna happen? I right, walk into the corner, I walk around the corner. Run right into a ZPG. So yeah, since, since I haven't asked you guys yet, what are your thoughts on the Colonel Corn challenges? Do you think they're any good? Do you think they're very difficult or not? And if you have any tips for me or for anybody else, I'd love to hear about it. I really think this one, of course, is just time involvement. And it seems like a lot of the challenges have been that way, which honestly, maybe is for the better. Of course, if you are better at the game, you'll get them done sooner. If not, it'll just take you some more time, which is definitely a better exchange than a challenge that you simply cannot do unless you're skilled or very lucky for it to line up. Um, so honestly, I don't mind that too much. And of course, it gives us more excuses to play Colonel Corn in the coming episode. So hopefully we can get that done. Oh, oh, okay, that was pretty good. I mean, obviously it didn't do too much for me, but it was just still cool to see. 
Oh, Vanquish from the Grave, giving us some bonus experience. Nobody has found my orb just yet. Oh, thank you, Oak. You got it. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I really didn't mean to do that. It's 10 to 2. And who's over this way? Nobody I can see. So let's throw some butter over there. I actually threw it too far, or maybe not far enough. Who knows? Okay. How are the team sizes? Actually, very small. Gotcha. That was good. I think there's a scientist or, I know it was an 80s action hero. I saw his purple shots. Thought it was the scientist. Not quite. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Nothing I approve of. Can't believe that didn't do much damage to you. I don't know. Very weird. Anyways, we're definitely earning up quite the vanquish streak. Okay, be careful, this guy. Really? Another ZPG just going in for me? They are all over the place today. All right. Will you be able to revive me or no? Don't know if you noticed me. Okay, keep going. 16 to five. We actually have a pretty big lead on them, but I feel like the teams are starting to grow a little bit. More people are joining in. So we'll have to just be careful, wait and see. Oh, I see you. Hold on, throw the butter on you. That was probably a silly idea. Come on, get him, get him. Back, sort of got him. And what else? Actually not seeing too many zombies. I mean, the most important thing is that no matter what, even if it's a tiny amount of progress, that we make progress with each round. Because not only are we getting these challenges done, we're earning experience for our experience bulb meter in general, and of course we're leveling up our character, which will mean they'll have more upgrades, which might make things even easier to accomplish later down the line. So no matter what, progress is progress, even if it is a bit slow at times. Definitely if you're willing to speed it up though, I think that story mode is the way to go right now. What was that? That was a little laggy. Okay, we got the orb. Let's run this way. And whoa, what happened? Wait, no, did it end? Did we get disconnected? Oh no, that's the worst. So unfortunately I lost connection there. Not only that, but it undid all of my progress. The thing I was just saying, no matter what, as long as we're making progress, the game heard me and took it away from me. I think that's that's the sign that maybe we should leave it at that. We have eight bulbs over here we can spend. Um, that's enough to get our next piece of the uh, Bash Bonko set, the teeth part for the Space Cadet. We'll keep working on it over time. And like I said, not the most done, but it's just a very time consuming set of challenges. So we'll get them done sooner or later. But definitely, I hope that you guys were able to pick up a couple of tips here uh, for the Colonel Corn. We'll keep on working on these in story mode and eventually we'll get them. But yeah, definitely let me know, have you been able to participate in the Colonel Corn challenges? And yeah, with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Planch vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Before you go, be sure to comment Zebra Corn so you have watched at the end if you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.